Welcome back to my studio. This behind me is my preferred speaker placement for the Klipsch Cornwall 4s. So what I want to do is show you why I settled on this and why it's superior. It's really important when you're setting up a stereo to be able to experiment easily with different speaker placements. So what I've done is put this 100 pound speaker on a moving dolly. That way I can easily move it around. And I've got a relatively long uh, pair of speaker wires so that I can move it without any any significant restrictions. I've also got painter's tape on the floor so I can keep track of where the different positions I've tried and uh, that's very important. It's a convenient thing. If it's not convenient to do, you won't do it. This is a simplified representation of my listening room where this is a speaker this is a speaker this is the uh, the bureau that I have the amp and preamp and other electronics on and this is my listening chair facing so I sit facing the speakers obviously now when I first got the speakers I set them up something like this I had them against near the back wall and pretty straight on and the reason I did that is because when I angled them toward the listening chair here I found the sound was a little too bright and the way a horn speaker which tends to be very directional works as you're when you're more on axis it's brighter and if you turn it away like that becomes less bright. So you can adjust the tonal balance by just adjusting the toe in. But uh, that cause, can cause there are secondary problems. Anyway, I'll cut to the chase. When the speakers were positioned something like this, for example, which was reasonably good, there was a problem. If you look, this speaker's pointing here and this speaker's pointing here. And for the listener here, as if they moved their head a little bit this way, or if someone was sitting a little off axis, what would happen? Well, two things really happen simultaneously, and they are both reinforce each other in a negative way. First of all, when the listener is here instead of in the center, they're now a little bit closer to this speaker. But not only are they closer, they're also more on axis. So it's an unstable situation. The more you move to the, to the side here, you get even closer to this speaker and more on axis to this speaker. What that means is you don't hear this speaker at all. If you're, so it's very, it was very sensitive to your head position and I do not find that to be a satisfactory uh, setup. But if you move the speakers out and rotate them enough, enough towing that the, uh, I'll just make it even more obvious, that the axis cross in front of the listening chair, something kind of amazing happens. Now, if you're listening here, but you move off to the side again, notice what happens. You become closer to this speaker, but you're simultaneously more on this speaker's axis. So the two things kind of cancel each other out. And it's much less sensitive to this position of the listener as well, or if you had multiple listeners, they would all get a pretty good sound stage. 
it really widens the sweet spot. But there's another effect that was really cool and I did not expect. And that is this. If you look at now, this speaker is pointing here. And it's reflecting off the wall here. And then it would reflect here and then come back. Um, so there's a long, you're not getting any direct reflections at, at the seating position. If you do something like this, some of the sound is, is going this way and right to the listener's ear. And that is competing directly with this uh, direct signal from the speakers. So amazingly, that made the speakers, when I turned them like this, and they crossed in front, that made the sound more detailed. Uh, because I was getting, in effect, less random noise from those first reflections. I didn't expect it, and the difference was not subtle. And then I should mention something else. Obviously, as you probably know, you don't want the speakers to be near the back, too close to the back wall. If you tow them in, t if you take what I said to an extreme, and you tow them in, say, this much, well, so they're really cro crossing far in front of the listener. What happens is you lose some of the dynamics of the speaker because basically the speakers are no longer facing you. So there's a sort of an optimum uh, setup, but you have to just play with it because every room is different. The other thing is as you move them this way, you will dramatically affect the bass and there was I found one space that worked best in my room where the bass even it the bass got more lively and more even uh, so play with that the important thing is to play and make it easy to make those uh, adjustments as I said I use the uh, moving dollies and the um, speaker wire that enables me to do that easily. I hope this helps, and I look forward to making a more helpful, better video next time. Thank you.